Hey everyone, it's Ryan with Gilbert Fireplaces and Barbecues, and we're here today at the end of July with a recipe that's going to help you guys at the house with your families, kids are back to school, you wanna make a quick meal during the week that's delicious, that everyone's gonna enjoy, this is gonna be it. So today we're gonna to take you through a meatloaf on the smoker with a Dr. Pepper barbecue sauce. It's gonna be delicious. Let's get started. Okay, so the first step with this delicious recipe is gonna be starting with the Dr. Pepper barbecue sauce. So today we're actually gonna do our sauce on the Tech Infrared Grill. This is their G Sport model. The Tech Infrared Grills are extremely versatile. You get down to 200 degrees, up over a thousand degrees. So it's awesome for searing steaks. And as you'll see, it's also a great side burner as well. Let's get started. All right, so the first step is we're gonna reduce our Dr. Pepper down to about a cup, and then we're gonna add the other ingredients. All right, so this Dr. Pepper has been simmering over the uh, the skillet here for the last oh, 20 minutes or so. Looks like it's reduced down to about, uh, about a cup now. Smells delicious, so we're gonna add the remaining ingredients. First thing we're gonna do, a cup of ketchup. Two tablespoons of soy sauce. Kind of like to eyeball that. A tablespoon of Worcestershire sauce. A teaspoon garlic powder. A teaspoon onion powder. And a teaspoon of black pepper. All right, so we're just gonna get this stirred up here. Let the flavors all come together, thicken up. All right, so we've had this now simmering with uh, all of the ingredients we just added to it here for about 10 minutes or so. Um, this is smelling really good. I'm, uh, I'm excited how this is gonna taste on the meatloaf today. So uh, take a look, it looks fantastic. All right, so we're gonna take this off now. We're gonna put it off to the side while we uh, prep the meatloaf. So obviously doing the sauce inside on your indoor range makes a little bit more sense. We just kind of wanted to showcase the features of the Tech Infrared Grill, let you know that that's something that you could do on your barbecue. So it's super versatile. All right, now that that Dr. Pepper barbecue sauce is done, let's get the prep going on the meatloaf. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna cut up a whole onion, a green bell pepper, and a clove of garlic, and we're gonna throw that in the skillet, let that kind of simmer for a little bit, and then we'll get going on the uh, actual beef. All right, so we've had our onions and bell peppers on the skillet here for about five to seven minutes. Now you just want to kind of soften those up before we mix them in with the meat. So let's take them off and uh, put them in a bowl, let these kind of cool off. And we'll get everything together for the meatloaf. All right, so let's get the uh, meatloaf going here. So we're gonna add two pounds of uh, beef chuck to the bowl here. Then we're gonna crack two eggs. Now we're gonna add our onion and bell pepper and garlic mixture. Then we're gonna add a quarter cup of our delicious Dr. Pepper barbecue sauce. The, uh, the whole sauce yielded about a cup of sauce in all. We're gonna use a quarter of a cup right now. We're gonna sprinkle a little bit of uh, pepper over this and we're gonna season it with our uh, Our Butts Are Smoking Championship barbecue seasoning. And then the last step is we're gonna add our panko breadcrumbs and then we're gonna mix it all together. All right, it's coming together real nice. You wanna work it all together real good. There's a lot of flavors that we have to mix in with that beef, so definitely work it. All right, so we have our Yoder Smokers YS640 set for 230 degrees. It's a great temperature to get some nice smoke flavor on this meatloaf. So what we're gonna do now is transfer the meatloaf over to our baking pan and throw it on the smoker. All right, now it's time to get this on the smoker. 
So we're cooking today on the Yoder YS640 pellet grill. We have oak pellets going right now. I really like using oak for uh, beef because it really just complements all the flavors here. So this is gonna be pretty nice. So we're gonna have this on here for 45 minutes and I'll show you what we're gonna do after that. All right, so we've had this meatloaf on for about 45 minutes now. So what we're gonna do, if it's ready, is we're gonna flip it out of the pan. We're gonna add some more of our seasoning to it, let it go for another hour and a half. So let's take a look and see how it's looking. Wow, that's smelling fantastic. Looks like it's setting kind of nice in the pan, so we should be able to flip this out with no problems. All right, so that's setting pretty nicely now. So what we're gonna do is check back on this in about an hour, hour and a half. We're reaching for an inside temperature of 155 degrees. So uh, we'll check back in a little bit. All right, guys, so the meatloaf's at 155 degrees, which is exactly what we want it to be. So we're gonna pull this off right now. We're gonna tent it in foil, let it rest for about 15 minutes, let the juices redistribute, and we're gonna cut into it. Gosh, that looks amazing. Smells incredible. All right, so we've had this meatloaf resting now for about 15 minutes. I think it's time to cut into it. Let's take a look. Oh yeah. That smells incredible. This is gonna be amazing. I'm gonna pour some of this Dr. Pepper barbecue sauce on here. I'm gonna cut into this slice and dip it in. It's got great color to it, this is gonna be nice. Wow, this just looks beautiful. You can see a little bit of a hint of a smoke ring on the outer edges here. Got that nice little red color there. Um, this is gonna be a nice little bite. You can see you got the, uh, the peppers in there, you got the onions. Um, we're gonna dip this in the Dr. Pepper barbecue sauce and see how it complements it. Mm. That's delicious. All the seasonings and all the flavors that we put into that meatloaf are outstanding. You get the really nice smoke flavor from it too. And the Dr. Be Pepper barbecue sauce is what puts it over the edge. You get that delicious Dr. Pepper flavor. Guys, I'm not a chef. In fact, this is the first time I've ever cooked meatloaf in my life. It's phenomenal. Anyone can do this. If you have a nice cooker and just some time, this is a great meal. It's also something that you could pair with some mashed potatoes, some au gratin potatoes. You can make sandwiches out of this. This is a great meal that you could repurpose over the week. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed that meatloaf recipe today. You know, it came out incredible, super easy to put together. You know, when you have great products, like the products we have at Gilbert Fireplace and Barbecues, it makes life super simple. It's a great meal that you can repurpose throughout the week, you can top spaghetti with it, you can serve it up with potatoes and vegetables, make sandwiches. The opportunities are endless with a meatloaf like this, and you're gonna absolutely love it. I know the kids will love it. It's a great meal overall. So uh, thank you for joining us. For more tips and tricks, Follow us on YouTube, Instagram, Facebook, all the social media platforms, and uh, happy grilling, everyone.